Hey y'all and welcome. On today's show we're going to present a mythical hero who I've been wanting to speak to for quite some time now. We're going to go get his first inside scoop from his wild adventures and deadly struggles. My pleasure to present Odysseus. Oh my god. So this has been quite some time now. How you been? Dude, you know, just been straight chilling, mobbing, eating mugging, shoot, uh, uh, all that kind of stuff. So tell us, is it true that you fought off the deadly Scylla? Man, Scylla wasn't nothing but a little bitch. I, I tore her up. Rumors are that I wouldn't have survived if it wasn't some prophecy, but I can tell you that ain't nothing but a damn lie. You are a brave man. Was it hard being away from home? To leave my wife and kids back at home, it was hard, but hey, it is what it is. How did you manage to keep holding on? How hopeful were you to get back home? My one and only Penelope, she was always my strive. Anything I ever got caught up into, she always had my back. That's why I love her. Nothing could ever replace that. Well, that's real love right there. Well, guess what? This year, we have a special guest star on our show today, and it's a personal friend of yours. Ladies and gentlemen, Cersei. Hey, baby, how you been? I know you missed me, blue bag. You need to back up home, girl. You don't know me like that. Hell no. You ain't trying to act like I'm some other hoe. I took care of you. I fed you. I did everything for you. I don't know. This girl must be tripping. She must be drugged on some potions or something. I thought you were in love with me. We spent so many nights together and you're gonna tell me that meant nothing? Be a man. Be a man. You were in bed with me night and day while your little wifey was at home? You wouldn't be sh You wouldn't have known how to survive Skillo if it wasn't for me telling you what to do. So it unravels. Continue. You need to shut that measly mouth of yours before I shut it for you. Be careful, Odysseus. I can ruin you. And ladies and gentlemen, Penelope, the faithful wife. Whoever you are, you need to leave. I don't think you know who you're messing with. I haven't spent 20 years of my life waiting for some dumb broad to claim my husband. You got another thing coming, whore. Oh, sad little Penelope. You ain't nothing but immortal. You ain't got shit on a goddess like this. I can squash you like a little ant where you're standing. <laughs> Odysseus, are you gonna sit there and let her talk to me that way? Okay, Cersei, that is just a figment of your imagination. Nobody wants you here. Go home. Figment of my imagination? You must have been lost at sea for way too long, little boy, because I got this. Everybody. What? How is this possible? How? You're a little filthy whore. How can you put your hands on a married man? It's easy, see? Oh my god! You. I'm gonna get out your hands out of me! Don't touch me! <sighs> Don't worry, Odysseus. I know how mortals can be. Let her be, and we can go off and be together, baby. Let's settle down now. Let's settle down now. It's national television here. What a crazy love triangle this is. Can this get any worse? Hell with that. I was unfaithful. I was gone and I, it was over 20 years and I wasn't getting it in. Can't blame you for that. I can't believe you, Odysseus. Besides, I have something that has been on my mind that I need to let out. Tell him, baby. Nobody can stop our love. Shut the hell up, Cersei. You're the furthest thing from love. I despise you. I love Helen. Helen? Helen? My cousin Helen? You know what, Odysseus? This is some sick sh I'm out. Shit, we didn't want you anyways. Oh my god. Some crazy sh going on, man. This is your her side of the story. Everyone's beautiful Helen. Oh. You just have to have this too, Helen, you sick son of a bitch. Ever since we were kids, you just have to have everything. Stop throwing your pathetic pity party, Penelope. Come on, tell Odysseus your secret. The one you've been keeping for 20 years. I can't believe you would bring that up, you sick What are you talking about, ladies? Feel free to share with us. Just a simple little detail. Come on, Penelope. Don't be so scared. You have nothing left to lose. I already got your man. You <laughs> Telemachus is not your son! Is this true? The heir of Ithaca is not your son, Odysseus? I, I guess. I mean, the gremlin never even looked like me. He's not even as smart as me. You sick, evil man! You have no heart! Shh, you're a whore. <laughs> Damn! Go tend the maids. <laughs> to hell with both of you! Damn! Well, this has been a very interesting show with too many surprises. I hope we all enjoyed it. Tune in tomorrow for I'm Happy I Cut Off My Legs. For all you folks at home, I hope you learned a lesson. Don't mess around with married folks.